Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports Center. And it is week three of the NFL season, and our 2 0 Chicago Bears travel to Atlanta, Georgia, in Mercedes Benz Stadium to take on the 0 2 Atlanta Falcons. But before I get into this preview and the predictions of this week three matchup, I just want to make sure that you guys are staying absolutely safe out there. I know it's still a lot going on, and I just want to make sure that you guys are taking proper precautions and staying absolutely safe. And it is about 60 to 70 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you fit into that percentage, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will not miss a single video that I post but y'all know what time it is without further ado let's dive into it first let's get into our opponent the Atlanta Falcons the Atlanta Falcons are led by Matt Ryan Julio Jones Calvin Ridley, Todd Gurley on the offensive side of the ball. And this offense is absolutely potent despite the team being 0-2. With Calvin Ridley scoring three touchdowns last week, a uh, hurt Julio Jones, and they still was able to put up 39 points on the Cowboys. And despite the loss, they still scored a lot of points on the Seattle Seahawks in week one. So the duo of Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley are going to be a tough test for Jalen Johnson and Kyle Fuller, Eddie Jackson, and our secondary. But on the defensive side of the ball is where the Falcons absolutely struggle. They struggle to make tackles. They struggle to hold on to leads. They struggle to make the plays that is necessary for them to make. Especially in that comeback against the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott had an absolute field day on the Atlanta Falcons defense. Throwing for 450 yards as the Cowboys was able to pull off that win 40-39. Of course we're going to talk about the onside kick. It was just something the Falcons misplayed. And... Things could have happened differently if somebody just dove on the ball. And it probably would have been a different game had somebody made that move to dive on the football. But the Falcons' offense is very, very scary. Matt Ryan is proven to be one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. Of course, with the duo of Julio and Calvin Ridley, it's going to be tough to deal with. Tyre Gurley in the backfield. He might not be the same Todd Gurley he was a couple of years ago, but he is still an absolute threat in that offense. And with an improved offensive line, the Falcons offense is still potent. But now let's get into our Chicago Bears coming off another victory over the New York Giants. The first thing that stood out to me is that the Bears was able to get the running game going yet again with Cordero Patterson, David Montgomery, and a little bit of Tariq Cohen as well. And that has been the absolute strength of our offense outside of the fourth quarter against the Lions. The running game has really been the strength of our offense so far this season. Mitch Trubisky has to play better in order to keep up with this Falcons offense. He cannot have those same costly turnovers that he had in week two against the New York Giants. Those turnovers and interceptions cannot happen. He has to play consistently. The offense has to start fast, just like they did in week two. Score on the first drive because this Falcons offense can score a lot of points. And I feel the Bears are going to have to score more than 20 points in order to pull off this victory. Allen Robinson has proven to be our number one guy. Darnell Mooney is a big surprise as he's been able to be productive in his offense. And we're going to need Anthony Miller to hold on to the football this week. 
this Bears offense can really take advantage of a lackluster Falcons defense. As long as we commit to the running game and Mitchell Trubisky plays solid football and does not turn the ball over. But on the defensive side of the ball for the Chicago Bears, the pass rush was finally there, able to get home, sacking Daniel Jones four times last week. Robert Quinn's presence made a big difference as far as teams being able to double Khalil Mack. When you have Robert Quinn on the other side and you have Khalil Mack, you're going to have to play which one is going to get to the quarterback. So Robert Quinn being in made a huge difference last week. Jalen Johnson came out and said he's going to play tough against whoever he covers. And honestly, I like that mentality. No matter who you're going to go up against, you have to be ready and you cannot be scared or intimidated despite how good the opponent might be. You still have to go out and play football. So I do like that mentality for Jalen Johnson, but it's going to be a tough cover for him and also Fuller to cover that receiving duo in Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley. And also, the linebacking core for the Chicago Bears must, and I mean must, play better in order for the Bears to pull out this victory. Roquan Smith has to have a productive game. And Danny Trevathan has to show up and make his presence felt throughout the course of our defense. As long as the Bears can create turnovers, as long as the Bears can slow down the passing attack, the Bears should be just fine. Now, Julio and Calvin do scare me because we haven't gone up against a receiving duo like that so far this season. So it's going to be a tough test for Fuller and Johnson. Akeem Hicks, Khalil Mack, and Robert Quinn should be able to get some pressure on Matt Ryan. And I also think that the Falcons' defense can be had because that is the biggest weakness despite Dan Quinn being an offensive man. And I honestly think Dan Quinn should have been fired after last season, but that's neither here nor there. So this game is going to be a tough game. The toughest game, I think, so far this year because the Falcons offense is very talented and they can score points with the best of them. But my prediction for this game is the Atlanta Falcons will come out and win. What am I saying? Psh, please. Y'all know where I'm going. The Chicago Bears will find a way to create some turnovers and they will find a way to score some points on this suspect and lackluster Falcon defense. I can see David Montgomery exploding for a huge over 100 yard game. Trubisky, I'm not gonna say statistically last, might be great, but I think he does enough. It makes just enough plays to get us over the hump. And I can see this Bears team Pulling out a victory on the road, 24-17. to 17. I think the Bears can really slow this Falcons offense down. I think if you take away some of the passing, and which has been our strength for the most part so far this season, I think the Falcons offense can be slowed down if you force them to run the football. And I think the Bears can do that because our secondary is ranked eighth against the pass. So I really feel that this Bears secondary can kind of slow down. I'm not going to say stop because that offense is very, very good. But I'm going to say the Bears can slow down the passing attack from the Atlanta Falcons enough to where they're forced to run the football. And I think the Bears run defense finally steps up and makes some plays. And the Bears can win this game. And they will win this game. And I think it's going to be a score around 24 to 17 Chicago Bears. But that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you like the video as that helps the channel to grow. Comment your thoughts down below of what you think the game could be. What are the bigger matchups that you think can happen? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below because I do 
read the comments, and I would love to see how you guys feel about this matchup against the Falcons. And be sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel to grow. We are still on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I couldn't be at this point without you guys. So if you're watching the video and not subscribed, click that subscribe button to get to 1,000 subscribers. But APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great next excellent day. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. I wanna say thank you to my mom and my daddy For making love the night that you had me Wanna thank my friends, my sister and my brother